But getting it to lay the eggs was a real trick. <laughs> Linda Lavin served up jokes along with breakfast in the long-running TV series, Alice. This morning, she's with our Mo Rocca for a round of questions and answers. This past April, a star-studded concert was announced to celebrate Broadway composer Stephen Sondheim's 90th birthday. The lineup included Meryl Streep, Mandy Patinkin, Audra McDonald, and Bernadette Peters. It did not include actress and singer Linda Lavin. I just love this. You go online yeah. and you write, this is very exciting, two exclamation points. I'm wondering if you'd like me to sing The Boy From, from The Mad Show. It's Linda Lavin. In that moment, what I really wanted to say was, why the hell am I not on that show? So I tried to say it in a more gracious way. And they called. Tall and tender like an Apollo. Lavin ended up singing a comedic Sondheim number she first sang back in 1966. Let's just put it this way. You're willing to advocate for yourself. I'm willing to advocate for myself, absolutely. Sometimes people don't think of you. They don't know you're here. I'm still here. They don't know you're alive. You got to let them know. Got to let them know. I used to be shy. She's alive, all right. It's been 35 years since Linda Lavin ended her run as TV's Alice. How do I stop him from chasing me just for my body? <laughs> Let him catch you. <laughs> and she's been hustling ever since, starring on Broadway, where she won a Tony, and on shows like Mom. Excuse me. Look at that tiny tush. I hate her. <laughs> Once the pandemic set in, she began doing weekly concerts from her Manhattan living room with pianist Billy Stritch. I wish I were in love again. No. And she's even released a new album. I've worked more in these two and a half months than I have in two and a half years. I'm not making that up. It don't need a thing. Growing up in Portland, Maine, music was always a part of Lavin's life. Her mother, Lucille, sang opera. She sang on the radio and early television. She sang with George Gershwin. But in those years, doctors would say to women who were career women, if you want to have a baby, you have to give up your career. And that's what, what my generation comes from, those women. Did your mother give up her career when she was expecting you? Yeah. When I'm in a spot, it's true. I always know what to do. Lavin says her mother always encouraged her to sing. My mother also tells the story that I stood up, I hadn't spoken yet, and that one night there was company, and I stood up in my crib and sang God Bless America. For her seventh birthday, she and her girlfriends made a fateful trip to the movies. Best goodbye music I ever danced to. And the movie was Cover Girl with Rita Hayworth and Gene Kelly. And I remember it as if it were yesterday. Rita Hayworth came down a ramp. She was floating in all chiffon. Long ago and far away, I dreamed a dream one day. And I knew right then that that's who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. Long ago, far away. As a concession to her parents, she went to college, William and Mary. Right after graduation, she moved to New York. And went right to work at Bloomingdale's. What department were you in? Handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs? The least visited department. Lived on a dollar a day, Amazing. and I'm not making that up. Just when the future was looking grim. She was jumping out of a mo Came a long, long way. Lavin found work in plays and musicals. Here she is in a televised version of Damn Yankees. And in 1973, she headed west. And eventually to sitcom stardom. Uh, let me have a uh, beef stew. What's the difference between that and a goulash? About three days. <laughs> For nine seasons, Lavin played single mother Alice Hyatt, 
hoping to make it as a singer, but getting by as a waitress at a Phoenix diner. And working for equal pay, equal rights, she politicized me. Might as well lock up now. The role had a huge effect on me. She soon became an unofficial spokesperson for single working moms. And I decided the best way to do it was to wear my Alice uniform and just show up as Alice because people knew who she was and they knew what she stood for. Linda Lavin is 82 now. When she's not working, she's spending time with her dog, Mickey, and her husband, artist and musician, Steve Bakunas. The couple met in 1999. Surprised the hell out of me. Because? I had no interest in another romance or marriage. I didn't think I was very good at relationship. Uh, and uh, I found out that it takes work and I'm willing to do the work and so is he. Somebody said to me, wear life like a, like a loose garment, Linda, lighten up. Bakunas was in Costa Rica when the pandemic started. So for months, the two have been FaceTiming nightly. We just did a fabulous show, honey. But can we just get back to Alice for a minute? Yeah, there's a new girl in town and she's looking good. Linda Lavin sang the show's theme song one of this correspondent's all-time favorites. And with different endings. Every season? It, Every season. It changed. Every season, we tried a different way with it. Things are great when you stand on your own two feet. I've always wanted to know, do you prefer bum 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 or sweet? <laughs> I've always wanted to know which side you land on. I've never thought, okay, then I'll say I prefer ba 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 ba. Stay 